Our boots are not throwaway products. I mean, you don't have them for six months and toss them and get a new pair. Danner boots are custom-made quality. We did do the first three manned spaceflight boots. Uh, we did all the boots for the space shuttle up until Challenger. We still make all the boots for the astronauts, just their everyday work boots. Reagan, we've always made his boots. As a matter of fact, I think we've made more boots for him since he died than, he, than we did when he was alive. Because they make these and they put them out in, their, in the museums. My name is Jeff Ketzler and I'm the president and owner here at the Daner Company. The Daner Company is a family business. It has been in my family since the late 1800s. We do all kinds of custom boots, shoes, leather goods. The quality is absolutely the prime focus things just don't last anymore. They're built to fail eventually. That's one of the things that we still pride ourselves on is we still use the right materials. We use the best leathers that we can find. We use the best uh, insoles, the linings. All the materials we have are absolutely the, always the best. I like to see people get 15 to 20 years of wear out of them. One of the things that we still do a lot of is movies. We're doing this new movie, Deadpool 2. We made the boots for Brad Pitt and Fury. A couple of Stallone movies, he seemed to like our stuff. Me, myself, and Irene, because that was about the Rhode Island State Patrol, and of course we make their boots, so they came to us for those. We do a lot of uh, things for New York Fashion Week. If, if boots are in this year, then of course they call us. It's always like a, you know, a, a, you know where's Waldo type of thing with us. Because, you know, it, everything that's going on, you know, we're, we're not, we're just maybe a step away, but we're, we're usually involved in it somehow or another. The businesses like ours are, uh, you know, they're just, they're going out of fashion. About the only place that I guess that I get really uh, sentimental or anything like that, I go back to my dad's office and uh, look around in there. And that's, when things get really wild, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll go back there and hide out because it's back in the quiet <laughs> and away from everything else. So. When they pulled Saddam out of the spider hole, whatever they called it, uh, one of the guys was wearing our boots and he sent us a picture of that. And I thought that was kind of neat. Like I say, just, you know, maybe a step away, but we're, we're there.